Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Get Play Soon. Also, welcome to the episode 29 of Lead Code SQL 50 Challenge. In the previous videos, we have discussed a lot of problems and a lot of topics, but under the topic Advanced Select and Joins, we have completed all these problems. Now, moving ahead with the next problem that we have, that is last person to fit in the bus. Now, in this question, last person to fit in the bus, we have only one table. In the table Q, we have columns like person ID. person name person's weight and person turn you might be wondering what turn is so the person's turn determines the order of which the person will board the bus for example if you are having turn 1 you will be the first person who get to enter the bus if there are some 100 people if turn is equals to 100 then 100th guy will be the 100th person getting into the bus right it's just a turn to get into the bus now let's look at the problem statement so there is a queue of people waiting to board a bus however the bus has a weight limit of 1000 kg so each bus has 1000 kg if the weight limit is reached even though the queue is having more people those people cannot enter the bus right so there may be some people who cannot board the bus okay so we are supposed to find the person name that is the second column of the last person that can fit on to the bus without exceeding the weight limit so what is the weight limit 1000 kg when 1000 kg is reached then what is the last person who has entered the bus we need that person's name okay now the test cases are generated such that first person does not exceed the weight limit because first person is obviously not 1000 right so it's just a sentence don't worry about it Now let's look at an example. Here we have a queue table. Here you can see person's name, person's ID. We have nothing to do with the person ID. We have their weights and turns. Weights and turns is the two columns that we are supposed to consider while calculating. Now you can see we will go by ascending order of the turn. So first turn is Alex. His weight is two fifty. He'll enter the bus. Second turn is Alex. Its weight is three fifty. Now three fifty plus two fifty. Is equals to six hundred. Okay. Now the third person to enter the bus is John Cena. So six hundred plus four hundred is equals to thousand. Now thousand is reached. That's why no more people. Even though we have four, even though we have five, even though we have six, so we have three more people left. But these three people are not going to enter because John Cena with four hundred has reached the limit of thousand. Right. So John Cena will be the last person entering the bus. So, for your clarity, you can see in this table also when the first person entered, the total weight is two fifty. Then again, the second person entered three fifty plus two fifty is equals to six hundred. The third person, John Cena, four hundred plus six hundred is equals to thousand. Right. So till here, we will allow people to bus. After this, we will not allow people to bus because they cannot board. Okay. Now I will tell you my approach of solving this problem. We have only one table, and the topic we are solving is advanced select and joins. So I would like to make sure include joins concept. So only one table we have, and we are supposed to use join. What is a join? It is nothing but self join. Okay, what do we do in self join? We join the same table with the same table. How we are joining the same table using the aliases concept? Okay, so I'm going to create two aliases, alias one and alias two. So, with the help of two aliases, I'll be comparing, calculating the sum, and then knowing if that person is reaching or exceeding the bus weight. From that, we can figure out what is the last person's name. So, let's look at the code. Also, in the output under the column name person underscore name, we are supposed to print the last person's name. So, whatever we are supposed to print in the output, we will write in the select statement, right? So, person underscore name q one dot. I'll tell you what is q one dot is. Okay. Now, starting with the joining concept. So, what are we doing is we are selecting person underscore name from the table q. Here, we are doing one more thing. We are joining the table. We are what are we doing? Self join. So Q one join Q two table alias one join table alias two. So table name is Q Q alias one is Q one alias two is Q two. Okay. Now we don't use Q two for showing the output. We use Q one for showing the output. That's why we use Q one dot person underscore name. 
you will know why in the upcoming steps okay so now i'm sure you have understood we have a table q and we have two aliases q1 and q2 whenever we are joining the tables we will write a condition based on which the tables are joined so to mention the condition we will use on keyword q1 dot turn greater than or equal to q2 dot turn so what is happening here so we are matching all the rows in q2 which are having turn value less than or equal to turn value in q1 what does this do so this helps in accumulating the weights of people who have turn value less than or equal to the current person in q1 so that we'll know that's why we are actually outputting in the q1 also i'll tell you i'll give you an example how q1 and q2 we are arranging so for example you have mary okay in q1 we will consider mary in q2 we will consider all the people who are having less turns including mary so alice alex john cena and mary will be in q2 for example let's say john cena john cena is in q1 then in q2 we'll have alice alex and john cena understood so that will be happening in q1 and that will be happening in so q1 will be one person q2 will be till that turn and less than that turn now once we join this aliases and once we get these two q1s and q2 what are we doing we are grouping by q1 dot turn why are we doing this so the group by results the turn column from q1 so that we can perform aggregate functions like sum okay now what are we doing we are using the having keyword now having clause is used to filter groups based on the condition so what is the condition sum of q2 dot weight should be less than or equal to 1000 so if q1 dot turn if it is in john cena then what will be in the q2 alice plus alex plus john cena it will count less than or equal to 1000 now what happens when you are using the having keyword it will filter out the group so if john cena then it is considered if it is given by mary it will just filter out okay that's why we use having clause now after this what are we doing order by order by is usually used to order the columns in the table right so whenever you use order by it will do in ascending order by default but when you want it in descending order you have to use this keyword how are we doing in the descending order so that the list goes in the upside down so last person will be the first person in the list first person will be in the last person in the list now in the output we only want the last person details that's why we will use limit 1 if you are confused i'm going to tell you again for our test case that is john cena john cena is turn 3 right so q1 value will be turn 3 when we are doing the sum q2 sum we are doing when q1 is equals to john cena the q2 are alice plus alex plus john cena which is equal to 1000 so there's nothing filter out so this group is considered then we'll do this order by thing and uh, john cena will obviously be top when we do limit one only the top most row that is a john cena will be present that's why we use q1 dot person underscore name in the q1 there will be only one person in the q2 will be all the person less than or equal to that turn I hope it is clear if you have any doubts make sure you comment below thank you so much for watching till the end also please make sure to stay tuned and complete the series that's it from my side thank you so much for watching till the end bye bye